Welcome back to part four of practical bash and terminal skills. Today we're going to talk about standard out and standard error and how they differ and how we can make use of them. So let's get started. Let's build upon this version script that we had previously. So we introduced variables here. Let me just quickly get rid of them. And also this oldest version doesn't really matter anymore. And then let's go back here to command substitution. So get latest version. Cool. So let's say that our download script that we have here to get the version is very verbose. Let's say it doesn't just print the version, but it also prints other stuff. Let's say it says something like resolving host starting connection downloading JSON extracting version so extremely robust maybe a bit of a of a made-up example but you could see how this could lead to an issue because we can't explicitly return we just have the script echoing out hmm so what will happen let's just run our version script so the current version of who is resolving host starting connection downloading JSON that is not what we want so these kind of kind of this additional info it would be nice if there was a way to filter this out somehow and in fact there is Usually either error messages or these kind of kind of um, helper commands are not redirected to standard out. So what is standard out? If we just do an echo here, we're redirecting our output to standard out, we're not redirecting it, we're directing it. What we can do, however, is redirect this output. So everything that goes to standard out, which is also commonly referred to as stream one, should instead be directed to stream two which is also commonly referred to as standard error. So because echo by default echoes to standard out or stream one, we now say we redirect stream one to stream two. So let's run that again on here, on here, on here. So missing spaces here, I think they're important. Cool, so let's run our script again and see what happens. So we're still seeing resolving host, starting connection, downloading JSON extracting version, but our command substitution here is working now. So we're seeing the current version of foo is, and then only the result. So it seems like these different streams already had some sort of an effect. But if we're honest, we don't really care so much about this, this extra information. So what else can we do? Let's go back to our versioning script. And let's see the same way that we redirected this in here. So let's pretend that this is not in our control. This is some external function, something like curl maybe. So let's say we know that this external tool already redirects all the uh, unimportant info to a different stream. What can we do to hide this stream? So in our command substitution here, the same way we redirected one to two, we could also say, let's redirect two to def null. Def null is something that takes in any input from standard in and just discards it, it doesn't do anything. So that's the, the idiomatic bash way of saying, let's hide this particular output. So let's run our script again. And we're back at the current version of foo is 3.2.28. You could of course also do this if for whatever reason you wanted it exactly the other way around. You wanted to discard standard in, uh, sorry, discard standard out stream one um, and show standard error. You could of course also do that. So in here we could say, let's redirect one to standard error. And instead let's redirect two to one. So let's see what happens. We're getting the current version of foo is resolving host, starting connection, downloading JSON, extracting version, and we're never seeing our version number again. Again, sort of a very made up example but uh, it's not about that. It's about redirecting these different streams. So real life examples. So this downloading example wasn't that far fetched. Let's say we have something like curl. I guess we'll get into curl um, in the future a bit, but curl is a very, very simple HTTP client. And let's say we wanna do a post on localhost 3000. Localhost 3000 is my title screen generator here. So um, I don't think it should accept post request. Let's see what happens. So here we're getting, okay, just this output that, um, yeah, cannot post, but it's a, it's a nice valid response. So let's say we're putting this into verbose mode. Well, now we're getting a lot of additional output. And what we can do now is redirect stream two 
to dev null. And even though we were running in verbose mode, we are now back to our concise output. Of course, in this case, we could have just not specified the minus V option, but that's not always an option. Sometimes you're not into in control of these kind of things. So that was part four about different streams, standard out versus standard error, and how you can redirect from one stream to another. Additionally, also hiding streams with redirecting them to dev null. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.